Can you see my hands? Can you see what I'm doing? Uh, I don't think so. No? I think it's about right here. Here? This should be... Like, I uh, feel short right now compared to you. Like, am I going I feel full like meerkat? Up, like, yeah. prairie dog. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> on today's episode of Make It Work Garage, we're basically going to do a MythBusters test on fuel injection and how to have a budget uh, fuel injection setup and where you can save a few dollars and spend them elsewhere. So tell us what we're doing today, Nelson. Since I'm just talking out my ass. <laughs> First, there's <laughs> there's no myth, Dan. <laughs> you can do this. It'll flow more fuel, but you might blow up your engine. But if you're cheap like me, you're willing to take the risk. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to test these injectors to see if the modification by grinding off the cap, how efficient that is going to make these flow, how much more of an improvement that's going to give us and or maximize our flowage. Yes. You, so you're going to measure the increase in flow and you can at least visually see the difference in the atomization without having the cap on it. Okay. Now let's talk about the setup here. We got a little battery, a little baby battery. Yep. Okay. Nothing special. 12 volt battery. Okay. Injector tester off eBay, which is like 30 bucks, which has four different modes to do different uh, pulse width modulation of the injector. You just, a lot of people do it just hooking the injector straight to a battery and using a stopwatch. Which, it'll, it'll show you a change, but this is more consistent. I know it's doing the same amount of pulses for the same amount of time, so I can measure from new to old and from each injector to try to get a set that matches, that okay. like a match set. Back here? It's got the stock 240 pump, which, I mean, is, is good for the test. It'll hold 43 PSI, and, uh, yeah, just inside a can that holds gas. Okay, and we got our fuel filter. Off an old Miata build. Pulled it out of the uh, just a bin I had lying in the garage. Okay, um, is the fuel filter necessary? Is like is that just to like make the uh, to simulate accurately what you're going to be no. doing in the car? Or no, I'd say it's necessary just because you don't know what kind of junk could be inside a fuel line, inside the fuel, the can, the pump. I mean, stuff's been sitting around, and I don't want to clog an injector just by doing a test. So. I would advise to run a filter. Okay. Um, now we, let's. We've got the leads off the tester. We also have jumper wires. What are the jumper wires doing? Powering the pump. So you got to power the pump. You got to power the tester. You got to power the. Uh, what's the other thing I have clipped on? Oh, and I just got a battery charger on the battery to hold it at a consistent voltage, so it doesn't vary each injector. You know, if it loses a tenth of a volt or something. Let's science. Come in for a closer look, like you. We're coming in. People, goddamn people, come here and look. We're coming in. Go. Zoom cam. <laughs> Get that. Okay, so explain the difference here. Factory, decapped. Bunch of little perforated holes, regulate flow. You take off that thing, it'll flow more. Atomization is worse, but I'm cheap, so I don't Atomization. Care. Yeah. Uh, tiny droplets. Mist, like fine mist. mist. Yeah. Like a spray bottle versus like a jet stream on a garden hose. Like no, spray spray bottle on a stream versus a, like mist spray. So, you know, you can do laser pointer on some like Windex bottles. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's laser pointer versus the mist. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the four cycles of, uh, of an engine, in case you're wondering. And also what I, my hobbies that I prefer to do on the weekend <laughs> or have done to me. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we need to get a baseline, so it's time to drop that base. No, not B-A-S-S, B-A-S-E. It's all about that base, about that base. Okay, what that's do we got? One. Bottom of the meniscus, very important. I'm gonna say that's 29. 29? That's, yep, bottom of the meniscus, sir. All right, Mr. Science. Okay. Twenty-nine. So are we gonna go ahead and uh, 
grind off the tip, if you will? Uh, first, we're going to measure in all You're the different all loads, them. and okay. then we will decap the injector and run the test again. Sorry, I'm just getting excited. This, our time, this is where time you got test. a timer. All right. Well, I mean, there's nothing more official than the, the good old iPhone stopwatch. Official like a ref with a whistle? I'm so official, all I need is a whistle. All right. So, on the count of four, are we going to go three, two, one, or one, two, three, four? Like one, two, three, go, or is this a three, two, one, go? So, are we going to go on zero, this or is, are we going to go on four? This is three, two, one, hit. Hit. And you hit the button on the hit. Okay. Three, two, one, hit. All right. And we're going to do this for 30 seconds. Okay. Here we go. Count me, count me out. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one, hit. That's not going to overflow, is it? We'll see. This is a stock injector, so probably not. We'll see what happens on the modified one. Halfway through. I think it's going to be okay. I think we're safe. And... Ooh. I'm going to say that's the magical number of 69. All right. We now have an official baseline. We have... Let's go over. We got... 29, 30, and 69 milliliters for three different modes of flow. Proof. All right, now we will make the modifications to the tips and see, uh, retest and see what we got. Now that Nelson's grinded off the tips, we're going to retest and see. Hopefully, we've got a decent improvement and maximize our fluage. All right. Um, I'm gonna laugh when all two people that watch this video look up fluage and find it is not the word you think it is. If it's not a word, which it's likely not, it should be. And um, I think that's all something we can agree on, and you know, we should protest. <laughs> on the dot so already on test one compare number 29 to 40 so I'm not gonna do the math on my head cuz I'll look like an idiot I'll use a calculator 40 divided by 29 <laughs> mm -hmm. one, so 38 30, percent. yeah 38 percent increase. increase not too shabby for Nothing other than the cost of a tester, I mean, but you can use that over and over. Yeah. Not too shabby. Yeah, essentially I got 40 bucks in the whole test rig. If you're going to do something ghetto, try to be accurately ghetto. Is ghetto, is ghetto not PC? Should I not use that? <sighs> Probably not. Probably not. Let's say uh, if you're going to be... I don't know if I have enough pigment in my skin to say ghetto. I definitely don't. Like, I, I'm not... There's so many words so, that so you could another, say that I couldn't what's, say. What's another word you could use to describe ghetto? half ass. There you go, half ass. Jank? Remember the word jank? That used jank. to be a word. Yeah. True. So if you could do something jank or half assed, like, at least bump it up to three-quarter assed. 0.75. There you go. 